Hello, this is Sherry. Um, I um, got on uh, Facebook Live today because um, Holy Spirit has really been dealing with me um, about the condition of the body of believers. And I just want to share um, some information with you. And I want to share um, what's been uh, pressing on my heart and what the Holy Spirit has been um, um, telling me. Um, just bear with me because this is my first time going live. So um, um, I definitely want to be in um, um, order um, as I execute the word of the Lord. Um, I'm not a stranger to um, social media. I'm not a stranger to um, uh, videos. Um, as some of you know, I worked from home and I had a business from home, uh, but the Lord has been dealing with me about the whole social media scene and the body of believers and the world at large. And it's been really pressing. I um, had put up a post yesterday um, talking about the judgment seat and um, how that judgment seat belongs to God. Um, however, however, um, um, I um, was supposed to get on last night, but um, due to family obligations, I wasn't able to um, get on. But um, this morning, the Holy Spirit woke me up in such a prayer of intercession, and he wouldn't let me rest um, until I got on here and I shared this word. So I know it's real early in the morning. I have my coffee here. Um, 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 many people probably are asleep. So when you get a chance, share this um, live post um, um, on your wall. Um, share it with your friends. I just want to be a blessing to the body of believers. Um, for those of you that have um, followed me or those of you that know me personally, um, um, you know that I ha I've, for the last few months, actually almost the whole summer, have taken a back seat to social media because I just really wanted to hear from God and I really wanted um, to make sure the assignment that the Lord was giving me was a sure assignment and I was really hearing him correctly. So I took away from social media, but the Lord has really been impressing on me um, concerning social media. It's telling me my connection is weak. Let me make sure I'm connected. Yeah, it looks like I'm connected. So at any point, if if I seem um, to lose you, um, just know that I'll be right back on here. But I'm just going to share this word that the Lord has um, laid on my heart and given me for the body of believers. Um, again, I'm going to put this disclaimer out there. This is my page. Um, I'm not here for a theological debate. I'm not here to... Um, um, hear arguments. I'm not. So if you don't agree with what I'm, what the Holy Spirit has given me, if you don't agree with um, um, the move of God in this season, in this time, um, I definitely uh, am a prophet of God and I hear from God. So uh, with that being said, um, if you don't agree, again, I'm not looking for your theological debate. I'm not looking for um, your opinion on the matter. I'm simply being an obedient servant of the Lord, putting out what the Holy Spirit has been giving me um, concerning the condition of the body of believers. Now, there's two things that are taking place in our um, world right now. There's two moves that are evident in, 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 in this world, and that's that it, we're in the last times, and the Bible speaks about two movements that are taking place in the last days. There's going to be perilous times. Um, um, scripture tells us there are going to be perilous times, and things are going to take place that uh, are against humanity. Um, Men are going to be lovers of themselves. We see a lot of these things arising. Uh, the body of believers um, uh, um, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. And then we also see there's another move that's taking place. The Bible speaks about in, in the last days. He was going to pour out his... his um, spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters are going to begin to prophesy. So there's an evil uh, rise that's um, on the move, um, an advancement in the kingdom of darkness. And there's also a, a move of God that's taking place. Prophetic, um, uh, the prophetic is arising and the spirit of God is being poured out. Um, so there's two moves taking place. However, 
and I feel the Holy Spirit so strong right now. However, if if the body of believers, if we um, allow ourselves to be smoke screened by what we see and, and we're, we're um, taking a seat of um, uh, authority that belongs to God rather than getting in the move of God and flowing in the things of God. No, I'm not saying that this is um, uh, the body of believers at large. Don't, don't get me wrong, but I'm just being, um, uh, transparent with you on what's taking place because it sure is evident out there. And I don't want anybody to really miss what the Lord is doing in this season. He's raising up people that don't have their own agenda. He's raising up people that are uh, willing to go, go against the grain, just like Jesus Christ did. And he's, he's calling and he's raising up people that are willing to say, God, I'll go with your agenda. I'll go with what you're saying. If the program changes, if the, the season changes, God, I'll change with you. Um, that's what God is calling for in this season. He's not calling for um, our script. He doesn't go by our script. And I think that people fail are failing to realize that and they're getting caught up in things that really don't matter and things that so with that being said, I'm gonna share what the Holy Spirit and I'll actually put up a post about this um later on. Um and as you can see, I'm in my bathroom. This is um uh, the place where I do most of the videos. So um you'll see my bathroom um occasionally. So I just want to put this out there that the Holy Spirit is grieved. Um and and I just begin to um pray and intercede for the body of believers because of the condition that we're in. We've taken the, the place of the Jewish council as it pertains to the Christian community. We are judging without offering solutions. And we have to be so careful that we use um, our platforms to edify the body of Christ and edify believers and edify um, other houses of God. We we need to start promoting kingdom. We're, we're, we're promoting the wrong things. We need to be promoting the kingdom of God, God's way of doing things, God's rule and God's reign. Um, the Holy Spirit said we are judging without offering solutions. We need the Holy Spirit to really help us. How can the left arm discredit what the right arm is doing if the left, if the right arm um, has a job to do, but the left arm is criticizing the right arm for their, their administration and what they're doing you're not aiding support to the body. You're sitting in a seat of judgment. You're sitting in the seat of condemnation to the right arm instead of lifting up the right arm, encouraging the right arm. If the right arm is getting the job done um, and, and, and being an aid to the body, you can't worry about the administration that the right arm is, is operating is. As long as the job gets done, um, that's what matters. Holy Spirit said, um, what the right arm is failing to do, you can't sit in a seat of judgment and, and, and say, well, you're not doing that right. You, you need to be uh, more polished in your delivery. You need to do this. As long as the right arm is getting the job done and being an aid and support to the body, now you can sit in a seat of love and show the right arm exactly how to do it or exactly how to administer um, their job. If the right arm job is simply to lift this cup and bring the cup to the body's mouth, then as long as that is being done and the body is getting the hydration that it needs it doesn't matter if the right arm picks up the cup and shakes but the left arm can sit in judgment and say hey I do that with a more steady pace this is how you do it if you're not coming from a place of love then you're out of order the Bible says that we're to uh, speak the truth in love that we may grow up into him. Who is we? The body of believers. The body of believers are to grow up into God in maturity. It's our job to help each other grow up in maturity. And if we're not doing that, 
All we're doing is sitting in the seat of judgment, just like the Jewish council, just like the Sadducees and the Pharisees. We're not aiding the body. So the Bible also says we are his workmanship. And that's um, coming from Ephesians chapter 2. And I'm going to um, quickly go to that real quick. And I'm actually going to start at the 10th verse, Ephesians chapter 2 and 10. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. Wherefore, remember that ye being in times past Gentiles in the flesh who were uncircumcised by that which is called to the circumcision in the flesh made by hands that at the time ye were without Christ being aliens from the commonwealth. Now what was taking place is the, 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 the Jewish nation or Israel who were um, the circumcised of God, they were pointing the finger at the Gentiles saying that the Gentiles were uncircumcised and they weren't true believers, but Christ was extending um, 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 his his reach to the Gentiles, extending the gospel to the Gentile nations. But the Jewish nation and Israel, those that were in the church, didn't want to receive the Gentile nations because they weren't circumcised through the flesh as, as the, the Israel nation was, but they were circumcised in the heart. And, and, and I, I, I think we see this parallel that, that's taking place in the body of believers. And all God is trying to do is bring the body in unity and bring the body in in one, but we're majoring in things that don't even matter. The body of believers is so divided right now, and the body of believers aren't walking in the full authority. Oh, help us, Holy Spirit. I feel this so strong right now. Father God, I'm going to stop here and I'm going to pray. Um, I've been praying and interceding all morning, but I just want to pray. And those of you that are watching, I want you to touch and agree with me right now because I just heard the Holy Spirit say um, um, that we should pray. So if you're on here watching and, and um, just begin to pray with me. Father God, help us, God. Help us, Father. God, forgive us, God, for the position that we've taken in the body of believers. God, help us, God, to rise up, God, and to show the love, God, that you're commanding us to show. God, give us to come together in a spirit of unity, God. Hallelujah. Jew, Gentile, Baptist, uh, non-denominational, apostolic, uh, missionary Baptist, uh, Presbyterian, Methodist. God, give us to rise up, God, and come together as a body of believers so that we can show a dying world who you are. God, your word declares that they'll know. Oh, that we're your disciples for our love for one another. God, we're losing the love. The Bible declares that in the last days, the love of many shall wax cold. And we think we're safe because we're in the household of God. But we become believers that have wax cold in our hearts. God, we're um, having hostility against one another. And God, this isn't your way, God. Help us, God, to come back to kingdom building. Building one another in love. Speaking truth in love. Aiding one another in the body of believers, God, just as your apostles did. Reaching out, God, for the furtherance of the gospel. Father, help us, God. Those, God, that are striving to get the message out of Christ. The life, the death, the burial, and the resurrection direction of our Lord and Savior. Those of us that are striving, God, to give the word to other believers, letting a dying world know, God, that you still reign and you sit on the throne and you're interceding for us. Father, give us strength, God, in this season to rise up and build kingdom in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I felt really strong right there that we needed to pray. Hallelujah. And then Ephesians 4 
and 15 and 16. I want to um, read that as well. If you can go to Ephesians 4, 15 and 16, those of you that are watching and that are watching, if you're watching this later on in the in the day, you may be asleep right now. Share this um, live cast because I believe this is what the Holy Spirit is because I, I, I'm, I wasn't able to rest in my spirit until I got on here and I shared what the Holy Spirit was giving me. Um, I, um, those of you that are watching, if the Lord has been dealing with you in any of these areas, please intercede for the body of believers because the enemy, he's so cunning in his approach. Hallelujah. And many may think that they're on the right path, but they're in the spirit of deception because they think that they have to um, sit in the judgment seat. But sometimes people sit in the judgment seat and they point the finger and they're not aiding or they're not supporting or they're not doing it from a place of love. Hallelujah. So Ephesians 4, 15 through 16. The Bible uh, lets us know um, in Ephesians 4, um, it was speaking about the unity in the church, the unity in the body of Christ. Just because you're Church of God in Christ, just because you're Presbyterian, just because you're Methodist, just because you're uh, apostolic, just because you're um, non-denominational, does not mean that you're excluded. The body of believers, those that believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, those that are preaching Jesus belong to this body. Um, for 15 through 16, but speaking the truth in love that we may grow up into him in all things, which is the head, even Christ, from whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplieth according to the effectual working in the measure of every part, making increase of the body unto the edifying of itself in love. If we're not doing what we're doing from a place of love, we are out of order. You're out of order. If that's if that means if you're in leadership, that means in your home. If you're not doing what you're doing out of a place of love and sincere love, wanting to see the body of Christ advance, wanting to see your family advance, wanting to see your family move from the place that they are to another place that God has ordained them. If you're not doing that from a place of love and edification, you are out of order. You're out of order. If you can aid support in some type of way, but you can point a finger, you're out of order. And we, God wants us to get to the place where we're doing things um, out of love. He wants us to, to rest on love. Holy Spirit says we must aid support to each other to mature, to mature each other. A Facebook social media post is a rant pointing the finger and not aiding support. Help us. We're using social media as a means to point a finger. Then we get others um, um, hollering and yelling and, and, and saying, oh, that's this. And, 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 and oh, doc, preach. No, we should be a support. Putting people on blast, putting a ministry on blast, putting your family on blast, on social media, you are out of order. And you are of your father, the devil. The Bible says that you should know that we are his disciples for our love for one another. You can't be doing that out of love without aiding support. You can't post a social media um, rant, uh, revelation, revelation, because sometimes I don't care who you are. I don't care. You can be from the top to the bottom. Uh, you can't post a social media uh, uh, rant without aiding support, without love, without doing. Jesus, when he did his ministry, when people came to him for help, when people came to him for support, when people came to him for healing, compassion and love moved him to action. 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 
not saying to his disciples, look at all these uh, weak people. Look at these people that don't even know theology. Look at these people. He didn't use his place of authority to look down on others that did not even know about Christ, didn't know about the work of God. He aided in love. His love and his compassion moved him to action. And that's what we need to be doing as a body of believers. Our love needs to move us to action. If we have the capacity to aid support in any area, if we point the finger without moving to action, we are out of order. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So in some cases, it's the pot calling the kettle black. The apostles in the New Testament, yes, they pointed out issues of the church. They pointed out the issues of the church that churches that they were shepherding. They aided and supported uh, through letters and visitations to help the churches mature. That was real kingdom building. They were building the kingdom. And guess what? It didn't even matter if they started the church. There were churches that the apostles had not started. In the book of Romans, uh, Paul writes to a church that he had not even started. He said, I heard that you, you've you gotten started and I heard that you're of our body of believers, but let me aid and support you. Let me uh uh, minister to you. Let me undergird you. I'm an apostle of God and I'm the, the backdrop to what the Lord is doing. So let me aid and support you. These were believers that had set up the church that came from, um, the East, whether they were, um, uh, believers that have received the Christ, have received Christ uh, on the day of Pentecost that moved back out of the area and went and settled and started a church. They were starting up in 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 in, in homes rather than going to the Roman temple, uh, but they were starting in homes. And the apostle Paul wrote to them concerning their their gatherings because he wanted to aid and support because he wanted to build the kingdom. Building the kingdom. He didn't just simply point out issues of the church and say, well, you don't belong or you don't fit in. So we're not going to help you. No, he heard about the work of the Lord and he undergirded them. He undergirded them in the things of God. This is what we need, whether you're Presbyterian, whether you're Church of God in Christ, whether you're apostolic, and, and there are many other, non-denominational, there are many other uh, um, uh, religious denominations that I could name, uh, but for the sake of time, we won't go into that. But whatever denomination that you're a part of, we're all one body. If you're preaching Jesus Christ, you belong to this kingdom. So if there's an apostle, if there's a pastor, if there's somebody that hears about your work, that hears about you starting a ministry, that hears about what you're doing. We're to be about kingdom building. The separation is not of God. It is of the devil. And we're not extending love. We all talk about kingdom building, but we're not building the kingdom. Jesus, help us. Help us, God. Help us to get this thing right. We are so out of order. The Holy Spirit is grieved. There are people that are posting on social media, yet they don't aid support to other ministries. They don't aid support to other believers. God, help us. Help us. Help us. Help us to do the work of the Lord. The Holy Spirit is saying that there's too much hostility in the body of believers. In the body of Christ, we are focused. We're focused on the wrong th wrong things. Allow we're um we're we're focused on the wrong things. The Bible says that when Christ comes, he'll do the separating. Let the wheat and the tear grow together. That not only means saints and sinners. Those that are, are in the body of believers, if they're off, let them grow with the wheat and the tear. If they're on, let them grow with the wheat and the tear. All you're to do is aid support in love. 
You have to speak the truth in love. That's what it's going to be. And this is such a timely word because of what's taking place. I just, I just heard the Holy Spirit say, you, a lot of you are saying the world needs love. The church needs love. Oh, God. This is what's taking place. The world is separating with hate and hostility. The body of believers is separating with hate and hostility. And some of you are blind to what the enemy is doing. And you're taking part in it. And if you're under the sound of my voice, I, I beg you to heed to the Holy Spirit. Come under subjection and let the Lord begin to deal with you and ask God to forgive you for being out of order. Our assignment, our assignment in the body of believers is to preach Jesus, preach his life, preach his death, preach his burial and his resurrection. Remember, this is his show. It's not your show. It's not you. Get off display. Get off display. You must be about kingdom building. You must be about kingdom work. A lot of people are building themselves. They're building a brand. I've done social media marketing. I know how it goes. You're building a brand. You're not building the kingdom. Holy Spirit spoke to me and said, it's just like it was in the temple when Jesus had to come and whip the people out of the temple because he said, you've made the house of prayer into a den of thieves. No, you're not sitting in the house of God doing Doing what you're doing. You're sitting in the seat of the world. You're sitting on social media making the kingdom of God a den of thieves. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. There's some people that are pimping the body of believers just like they were doing in the temple. Help us. They were selling sacrifices that weren't pure and charging the people high prices. Jesus, Jesus, help us. Help us, God. Help us, God. Some people are building a brand to see how much, how many followers they can get, how many people that they can get to go on live with them. You're out of order. Preach Jesus. That's all we're required to do is preach him. Hallelujah. We're building brands instead of building the kingdom. Help us, God. Help us, God. Help us, God, to get back to the place where we're building the kingdom. Help us. God's way of doing things. God's order. God's design. Love. Help us. Help us. We're sitting in the place of judgment, condemning other houses. How is that God? How is that God telling people to leave their ministries, telling people to leave their churches? How is that God? Build, build, build. Yes, yes. I just heard the Holy Spirit say, well, sometimes you transition out of, out of a ministry and sometimes the Lord will send you. Yes, when it's God. But there's a work at force. There, there, there's, there's, there's. There's, like I said earlier, there's two moves that are taking place in, in, in perilous times. There's going to be an outpour of God or there is an outpour of God. And we're in perilous times. There's an evil move that's taking place. And you have to be aware of where you fit in line. How can I be aware of where I fit in line? Have a personal relationship with God so that you can rightly divide the word of truth so that the Holy Spirit can lead you and guide you into all truth. That's how you can know. That's how you can know where your placement needs to be. That's how you can know which body of believers that you need to be connected to when you have a personal relationship. It's the Holy Spirit that will lead you and guide you into all truth. Hang the fleece out there. Don't move until you see the fleece dry. If you don't know, a lot of us are moving off of the word of people that we respect and people that we, uh, that we uh, look up to. And we're moving out of order of the Holy Spirit's 
um, um, or, or, or out of order of the plan of God that's for our lives. Because we don't have a relationship. So we're tossed to and fro. The Bible speaks about this. Tossed to and fro. We're carried about with every wind of doctrine. Every teaching that comes up. You move with the flow. Stop! Move with God. Move with the plan of God for your life. Get in your word. Seek God. Know him. Understand him. Without a real relationship, you're going to be lost. Because what deception Deception is to deceive you. Sometimes it looks like God. Sometimes it smells like God. But it's not him. The enemy puts up a smoke screen, a mirage, and we fail for it. And sometimes we end up having to repeat the same thing, whether it's in ministry, whether it's at your home, whether it's at your job. We repeat the same things. Why? Because we fail for the smoke screen. And that's how we church hop. Because you got over there and you saw the mirage and you said, well, surely God is leading me here. Instead of getting in your secret closet, hearing from God, hanging the fleece out there because you don't want to move outside of the will and the plan of God. You moved on your emotions. You moved on uh, what you thought. You moved on the mirage instead of having a real relationship with him. God is calling us to love. We have to get off display. Get off display. I hear that so strongly and the Holy Spirit is really dealing with me concerning this. I, I apologize because I was supposed to come in here last night, but uh, by my um, family obligations, I had to take my son to school and um, I had to um, get home, eat dinner, hang out with my family, but I woke up so early this morning praying in intercession. For the last few days, I've been praying in intercession for the body of believers because we need God. We need help. We need God to bring us back to the place of love. How can we help and aid and support? What does that look like? Helping each other mature in the work of the kingdom. What is the kingdom? God's way of doing things. God's rule. God's reign. Working for, we're working for the same company. It's us. We're working for the same company. We're working for the same company. We're working for the same desired ministry. But if you're not aiding support to the members, if you're not aiding support to other churches, if you're, not, if you're in a place to aid support, let me say that because not everybody's in a place to aid support, but you can aid support in your prayers. You can aid in support in your um, your wisdom. There's other ways that you can aid support rather than monetarily. And I'm, I'm going to have to get off here real soon because I got to go to work and I got to get my, my baby ready for, for school. Um, but I just wanted to come on here and... Um, encourage the body of believers to let's just get back to a place of love if you preach Jesus you're in the kingdom it doesn't matter your denomination it doesn't matter um, the title of your church um, faith walkers move of Presbyterian Methodist Church of God in Christ whatever as long as you're preaching Jesus you're in the kingdom John 13 and 35 I want to go to that because I wrote down some key scriptures to share with you. Um, John 13 and 35. Again, I'm not here for a theological debate. Um, I'm just sharing what the Holy Spirit has given me. And you may, you, you're you going to see some more from me because I definitely know that the Lord has called me to the kingdom for such a time as this. And no man hath ascended, I'm um, sorry, 13 and 35. The Father loveth the Son and hath given all things into his hand. He that believeth in the Son hath everlasting life. And he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. So it's Jesus. It's Jesus. It's Jesus. It's Jesus. 
It's Jesus. When you believe on Jesus and you believe on the Son of God, you're in the kingdom of God. He said, if you love one another, that's going to prove that you're my disciples. That's going to show the world that you're my disciples when you have love for one another. And what is love going to cause you to do? Write a Facebook post to condemn somebody without aid and support. Help us. Help us. Again, if you're able to share this um, live cast, um, if you're able to um, actually share it, please share it. Because I know this is a timely word and I know that the Holy Spirit gave me this word. So um, I admonish you. This is not for Sherry Downs. Uh, uh, this is not for me. This is for uh, uh, the kingdom. This is because Holy Spirit has really um, given me an insight to this. And again, I took a backseat to social media because um, of what the Lord was showing me. And he's definitely showing me that the body of believers, is, we're in a state of emergency. Oh, see, I just heard that. We're in a state of emergency. Help us, God. Help us, God. Help us, God. And those of you that have a prophetic ear, those of you that have a spirit of intercession, pray that love be loose, not only in the world, but in the church. Not only in the world. There's a divide, black, white, um, cops, people. Um, and there's a divide in the body of believers. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 But again, there's two works taking place. There's a move of God. There's a shifting of God. The Bible says that in the last days, he's going to pour out of his spirit upon all flesh. And God is doing that. He's pouring out his spirit. He's pouring out his spirit upon white, black. The prophetic is on the rise. People are, are dreaming. The, the, the Bible is fulfilling itself. But at the same time, we're caught up in things that don't matter. Help us, God. Help us to come to a place of love. And let's pray. Father God, we thank you, God, for this time of sharing. God, we thank you, God, for this time of, um, of revelation. Father, asking you, God, to give us um, insight and, 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 and wisdom on how to move and how to execute, execute in this season. Father, give us what to do and what to say and how to say it, Father. And if we don't know what to do, Father, help us to stand still until we understand what your will is concerning us, concerning ministry, concerning the house that we govern, concerning um, uh, churches that we're to aid and support and um, undergird. God, help us, God, to get out of the seat of judgment, but to get in the seat of love. Help us, God, to speak truth to other believers in love because we want to build kingdom, not our brand, not our name, not seeing how many followers we can get on social media. Help us, God, to use social media, God, uh, um, in, in a way that's going to build kingdom, not tear down other houses, not tear down other people to seem like we're um, um, uh, uh, the way to go, but point people to Jesus and allowing people free choice um, rather than uh, brainwashing people to believe what you want them to believe. Help us to preach Jesus and help us, God, to uh, lift one another up in love in truth, and in sincerity. Thank you guys for watching my um, Facebook Live. Again, I'm going to share this um, as a post as well, um, just in case li Facebook Live, because this is my first time, so I'm learning how to navigate this thing. Did I do all right? All, all of the ones that are watching, um, pray for me that I do the will of the Lord. Um, I'm moving in this thing, and I'm certainly... Um, um, going to be obedient to the will and the plan of God concerning me. Um, I pray that the ones that are on here watching, I pray that the power of God be released in your life and the revelation and the understanding of who God is concerning you and what the Lord is doing concerning your life. I pray, I pray. And if you didn't get this whole um, uh, um, broadcast, um, please watch it. Please watch it as soon as Facebook releases it to be seen because it definitely was a blessing to me. And again, um, prof prophets and intercessors, please intercede for the body of believers in the world at large because, again, like I said, there's 
two things that are taking place. There's an outpour of God and there's an advancement in the kingdom of darkness. And the enemy wants the, the, the body of believers to sit in the place of judgment which is not yet given to you. <laughs> I just heard the Holy Spirit say it's not yet given to you. Because um, people will say, well, the church is going to judge the world. Yes, but that place is not yet given to you. Uh, right now, the place is to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ because we're still building kingdom. Um, so, um, but there's still the, the evil work that's taking place. There's a, a, a love, hatred, um, fight going on in the world and there's a love hatred fight that's going on in the body of believers. So let us all come together in the spirit of unity. Be blessed. Love you guys.